face the consequences. No other good people should suffer for the choices you made. I hope you don't mind that I asked your super to let me in again while you were taking Emma to school. I just thought you could use a good meal after everything you've been through. Those little bits of eggshell are edible, right? That was a joke. Kind of. I'm sorry. Look, I know I don't remember everything about that night, but there's no way you poisoned David. Yeah, the suspect list would probably be about half of Pine Valley. The question is, who did David push this far? Well, in cases like this, don't the police usually start with the person who was closest to the victim? The one who had the most access? You mean Greenlee? Who let you in? There's no possible way that Greenlee poisoned David. I hope she didn't. But if she did, you know what? I can't blame her. I know what it's like to live with a husband who controls your every move. It's like you start to feel like no matter what, like you'll never, ever get out of it. Like the only way that you'll ever truly be free. Green, Greenlee did not poison David, OK? I know you believe in her. But I, I heard Greenlee say that she wanted to kill him. That, that was out of frustration. That, that wasn't an actual literal threat. You're still protecting her. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to point the finger at her, if, you, if you're going to accuse her of, of premeditated murder, then yes, I, I will protect her. I don't know. Hey, I'm sorry for even suggesting that Greenlee had anything to do with David's death. Of course she did. It's just too bad that she didn't get away from him before he died. David is a master at blackmail. It's not so easy to get away. I've been there. He tried to force me to seduce you until you came to my rescue. Not for the first time. Mm. Well, not everybody is as lucky as, as you to get away that easily. Well, at least he's gone now. David can't hurt you or anybody that you love anymore. Yeah. The damage that David's done, it's in the past. I just got hope and happiness for the future. You think? I know. You even got a greeting card for me to commemorate the day? Uh, it's not for me. from Greenlee. Greenlee's just saying, um, you know, that she's happy for me to, 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 to be out and to call her if I need to talk or whatever. So I guess she just dropped it off when I was gone. Weird how she just lets herself in and out like she still lived here. Yeah, I, I, will, I will talk to her about that. I will. Hey, I was thinking, you know, now that you're a free man, maybe you could use a little change of scenery. You, me, Emma, maybe Spike. A little sun, water, sand, palm trees. Vacation? I mean, everything's just been so crazy and intense. So why not just get away for a little while? Clear your head, come back, fresh start. I, uh... <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Jake. Listen, we're having, um, I guess you'd call it kind of a wake for David. I thought maybe you'd like to toast his demise. Uh, I'll pass. Thank you for the invite, though. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime. Passing, but thanks again. Jake, he's, he's the throwing awake. David. You don't want to go? No, I don't. The last thing I want to do is celebrate David's death. Hmm. You're probably the only person in town. Yeah. Well, I just... I have a pretty uneasy feeling about it, you know? I just, I just wish that I could remember what happened when I was with him, how it all ended. You didn't poison David. What I might have seen, he did. 
I, I might have seen something, some some clue that could help us find David's killer, if, if I could only remember. You shouldn't stress about this. It's not your job to figure it yeah, out. But if I can help, then... You've done more than enough. Hey, you did everything you could to protect Boomer. And now David's gone, and you can't hurt anyone else. You're free from more than just those charges, Ryan. You're free to get your life back. I want to help you do that. Ignore it, you ghoul. Mm. It could be our last dose of recovery meds, and we'll have to sign for those. I can't. Well, okay. Oh, I'm glad you're home. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you said that last time. Well, at least this time you have your clothes on. Hey, um, uh, what's going on? I really am sorry, but I need to talk to you. Oh, okay, can, can you call me later? It's about who poisoned David. You know something about who poisoned him? Can we talk? I'm gonna go for a walk. No, 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 no you don't have really to. Really needs you. Listen, whatever she's got to say, she can say in front of you. Okay? Actually, I prefer to do it in private. Hey. Damn. Wow, I mean, I know today was a, was a half day, but you're home early. Don't you have a play date with Melly? wanted to make sure that you were still here. I'm not going anywhere. Do you promise? Cross my heart. No more jail? Ever? Ever. Yes, I know how scared you were when I got arrested, but that was like a big mistake. That was, it was like a really bad dream, okay? That's right, and no more bad dreams, okay? Okay. Hey, why don't we go look for a cookie so your dad and Greenie can talk? 